Ross Grothy is a family man first and a walleye tournament angler second. Last year, Ross and his then eight-year-old son, Reed, won team of the year in the Minnesota division of the AIM Weekend Walleye Series. I never expected to win a tournament with a, an eight-year-old, let alone two of them, or team of the year. You know, and, and that I probably will never top again. Nice job, guys. So, hey, we got a fish on, guys. Come on, Raj. Can I reel it in? Yep, you start reeling. We joined Ross, Reed, and the youngest member of Team Grothy, Roger, as they pre-fished for an AIM event this spring. Nice job, Raj. Be careful, Reed. Coming Here it right. comes. What do we got? Snogger! Woohoo! Nice job, guys. Put that net down before anybody sees us. They may not become tournament anglers, which is not my objective to make them competitive fishermen, but more importantly, it's the time spent together enjoying the great outdoors, and that's what's important to me. Ross inherited his passion for the outdoors from his father. And it was bluegill fishing and, and um, crappie fishing, and then we figured out that walleyes were challenging. And that still is what drives me to pursue walleyes on a daily basis, is they're probably one of the more challenging fish to catch. Now he's doing everything he can to pass it on. There is always time if you want to make it happen. There you go, nice and easy. And it's a matter of fitting that into your busy schedule, meaning business. There's a place and a time when you're not available. Feel like a walleye and it's family time. That's the number one key, it's family. It's my wife, my kids, me. Oh, look at that! Whoa, -ho -ho. boys! That's what we need. Having a good attitude, win or lose, fish or no fish, is one of the reasons for their success. If they wanted to learn something, I always got them involved right there with me. I want you to stay in like 10 feet of water and follow this edge of this flat up here. The sooner I teach them how to do that stuff, the better off they're gonna feel and give them more confidence to attack anything. If it's school, their careers, relationships, or whatever it is, I don't think you need to shelter them in any form or fashion in life nowadays. The more you expose them to, the more they're gonna be well-rounded and be able to deal with stuff and help people through the positives and the highs and lows in life. Nice job, Roger. When it comes to presentation, Ross prefers techniques like trolling crankbaits or casting jigs or slip bobbers, something the kids can handle. I can't go out and drag uh, live bait rigs on Mille Lacs and the mud flats with, with somebody that doesn't have the feel and sensitivity that it takes to detect a small lethargic walleye bite. Another key factor for a good day on the water, good boat snacks. You can thank mom for that try to keep stuff that's healthy in the boat and keeps their uh, energy level up. We're an outdoor family. I spend a lot of time outdoors, so we've always got venison sticks, venison uh, summer sausage. Ross says being prepared for adverse conditions is important as well. And he's not afraid to call it a day if the kids want to stop fishing, even when they're in a tournament. Beauty! I have no problem putting it on the trailer and going uh, you know, to the indoor swimming pool or whatever it is to keep their mind occupied and keep my mind off of where the fish are at, what they should be doing or why they aren't biting. Team Grothy uses top of the line gear. However, Ross says if you're new to fishing, a few simple essentials are all you need to get started. You can go catch multiple species of fish off of a dock and, and get a rod and reel combo for $15, $20 and then you start building your arsenal of tackle for different presentations and sometimes you may be fishing for bluegills and you'll catch a muskie. But that's what gets you hooked and wanting you to come back. We hooked into our own surprise that day. Nice job, Reed. Rod tip up. Holy mackerel, what is that? I don't think it's a walleye, but it's big. It sure looks like it might, oh my. Uh oh, it's some creature from the river. Good job, Reed. Oh boy, look at what we got. <coughs> Step away from the, the telephone, the computer, the video games, grab the troops, your family, your wife, your kids, or whatever it is, and take a hike. 
and um, not meaning get lost, just go, go out and take a hike and, and get an opportunity to experience what the great outdoors has to offer and I'm sure you'll be hooked like I am. And this is a phenomenal sheep's head. What a specimen this is. It brings everybody's heart rate up. Reed was stoked, Roger stoked, Dad was excited. That's just an awesome creature. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Yamaha Generators and Ottertail Lakes Country.